Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. This is Ruby. This is Chester. Today I'm going to give you guys nine tips on taking awesome dog pictures. Right, buddy? All right, real quick before we jump in, I just wanna say these tips are for anybody and everybody. You do not need fancy gear for these tips. You don't need a DSLR camera. You don't need a mirrorless camera. You don't need any fancy gear. If you have a smartphone and it has a camera on it, this is going to be for you. This is all about getting some great photos with your dogs and making some great memories. So with that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so step number one is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have all the proper gear you're gonna need for a day out with your dog taking pictures. I'm not talking about fancy camera gear or anything like that. What I'm talking about is kind of the bare necessities for what you're gonna need when you're out with your dog. I'm talking bring some water, bring a water bowl. I bring a towel in case they get muddy or dirty. Some of their favorite treats, really high value treats so you're able to get their attention. I like to bring a squeaky ball or a stuffy toy, something to get their attention with. And I usually bring this treat bag along with me. This attaches right to my hip so I don't have to go digging around in my pockets. It's easy to access. I can just reach in, especially when you have a bunch of like camera gear, if you do have camera gear, or you're just fiddling with your smartphone. It's easy to have just quick access to some treats. So I use this little hip pouch that I keep. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys are interested in checking that out. So bring the bare necessities that you're gonna need before you even go out, just so you're well prepared. Your dog's gonna be nice and clean, well hydrated, and you're gonna have lots of treats and toys for them to get them to pay attention. So tip number two is you're gonna to wanna to give your dogs a little bit of exercise before you go out and actually take any pictures. This way that they can kind of burn off some of that initial crazy energy. I know when I'm getting my dogs ready to go outside, they are pumped to go on an adventure and it's gonna be hard for them to sit still and actually take some pictures. So go for a short walk, maybe go to the park and throw the ball around for just a few minutes, just to kind of burn off that initial crazy. Also when they're panting a little bit, it kind of gives them that look like they're smiling. So that's always good. I like to walk the dogs to the actual photo location when I, once I picked one out. So I'll park up the street about five, 10 minutes away and I'll walk them down there. That gives them just enough exercise so that they're gonna be able to like pay attention, sit still a little bit better and pant a little bit better so they're cuter for the photo. So tip number two, give them a little bit of exercise beforehand. So tip number three is teaching your dog the weight command. This is slightly different than the stay command, at least in the way I do training. The stay command is a little bit more of a, a very precise positioning, whether that's in a lay down position, a strict sit position. With the weight command, it allows them to kind of either lay down, sit, or kind of stand up and look around a little bit more. It's a little bit more lenient than a stay command. So with the weight command, they're able to kind of stand up, be a little bit more natural. They can pose how they feel comfortable at that moment. They can kind of explore around the environment in terms of like sniffing the air and looking around. So it's a lot more natural, I find, and you can take pictures a little bit better. It doesn't seem as posed, I suppose. So teach your dog the weight command before you go out and take pictures and it'll make your life so much easier. So tip number four is to get down at your dog's level. What I mean by this is you're gonna to wanna to get your camera angle shooting kind of eye level with your dog or even shooting slightly upwards at your dog. I see a lot of people taking pictures from their standing position, shooting down and taking pictures of their dog like that. Some of them can turn out actually pretty good and are very cute all the time, but some of the best photos I've ever taken and I've ever seen taken are usually at eye level with the dog or shooting slightly up. You're gonna to wanna to try this. So what you, all you gotta do is kind of get down on your knees, hold your camera a little bit lower, whether it's a smartphone or a DSLR camera, doesn't matter or you're gonna to wanna to either you know, position your dog on top of a picnic table or whatever it is, as long as it's safe, obviously. But shooting up or at eye level gives you some of the best results when you're taking pictures of your dog. So I highly recommend you get down at their level and take those kind of shots. All right, so tip number five, I already alluded to in tip number one, and that's you're gonna to wanna to bring along one of your dog's favorite toys, whether that's a squeaky toy, a ball, uh, uh, stuffy toy of some sort, whatever they're really into and you can get their attention, you're gonna to wanna to bring one of those along. What you're gonna use with this is you're gonna be able to get your dog's attention when you're trying to get photos of them. I find with my dogs, I go to a lot of locations that are like fairly busy, lots of people mulling around, lots of sounds, lots of smells, other dogs passing by, things like that. If I have one of their favorite toys with me and I'm trying to take pictures, I can just kind of wave it behind the camera and I can get their focus. It's also really good to kind of move around if you wanna get their, you know, their line of sight kind of focused in a specific direction. So I'll put this kind of in front of the camera if they're gonna kind of look down a little bit, I'll kind of hold it above my head and get them to kind of look up a little bit. Whatever you wanna do, however you wanna take your shots, bring their favorite toy along and that way you can kind of get their attention and you can also kind of manipulate with it where they're gonna be looking. So pack your favorite toy, don't forget that. 
All right, tip number six is you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of research of where you're gonna actually go take some photos. I usually do some scouting beforehand. I'll check on the internet and find some cool places that we haven't been before. I look for places with like really cool backgrounds or lots of really cool objects around them. Something to add a little bit of interest to whatever photo you're gonna take of your dog. It could be a nature scene, it could be an inner city scene. I like to take a lot of pictures with like graffiti and murals and stuff like that. Or it could be like a favorite playground with like lots of cool little interactive things. Whatever the case might be, whatever you're interested in, do a little research before you head out on the town and figure out a place you're gonna to wanna to shoot that has some like really cool kind of secondary background stuff that'll really make the dog images that much more interesting. So find some cool spots and head out with your dog. All right, so tip number seven, and this one's really important, is to take lots and lots of photos while you're out. They're not gonna be perfect every single one. You can't just aim to get the perfect photo. You're gonna have to take 100, 200, 300 photos possibly to find like a handful of really, really good ones. Your dog's gonna move around. They're gonna have funny faces. You're not gonna quite capture the right thing at the right time. And you're also gonna wanna explore around a bit. You're gonna try different angles. You're gonna kinda hold the camera off to the side one way. You're gonna angle it up a little bit. You're gonna really play around and, and just have a lot of fun with it. Just experiment around and also be patient with your dog because they're gonna move around. They're gonna have in the perfect pose and then they're gonna get distracted by a squirrel and kind of shuttle off a little bit. So take tons of photos, it doesn't matter. You can go home, you can get sift through them afterwards and pick out some of the gems. I find I usually take about two to 300 photos when I go with my dogs and of those, I'll maybe get a dozen of them that are absolutely perfect for me. So take tons of photos, don't worry about it. You can sort through them at the end and the more photos you take, the more chances you're gonna have the perfect photo come out. So tip number eight is post-production, and that basically means editing your photos once you've taken it. Now, some people might have access to really fancy programs like Photoshop, where you can really get in there and kind of adjust the lighting and saturations and all kinds of stuff like that. But on your mobile device, your, your smartphone, built into your camera app, there's usually some filters and some different editing settings you can play with, with like the light and the contrast saturation, highlights, shadows, things of that nature. With Instagram, you, when you're gonna post to Instagram, if that's all you wanna do is do it for the gram here, tons of stuff on Instagram in order to kind of really tweak those photos and make them look nice. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. You don't wanna just post the photos that comes directly from your camera. Nine times out of 10, they could use a little bit of help from a little bit of editing software. So bring your photos into an editing software, whether that's on your phone, Instagram, Photoshop, or some other alternative to Photoshop. That, just get it in there, make some tweaks, and you're gonna really make that picture shine. And tip number nine is the absolute most important tip of this entire video, and that's you have to have fun. Your dogs have to be having fun, you have to be having fun. This is supposed to be a great adventure out, bonding and spending time with your dogs. So that means lots of treats, that means lots of praise. When they sit there and they hold a weight for a long time, and they might seem like they're getting a little restless and impatient, make sure you give them tons of treats after. Make sure you just let them know how good boy, a good girl, like all that kind of stuff. You wanna keep them engaged and excited and enjoying themselves out. You don't wanna be dragging them around just because you wanna get some pictures up on Instagram. Make sure you have fun. This is supposed to be fun. Your dogs should be enjoying themselves. So tip number nine, have fun. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. That's nine tips on how to take awesome dog photos. If you wanna follow us on Instagram, make sure you check out Chester's Instagram at chesterbully underscore YYC. If you guys have an Instagram account, make sure you leave a comment down below and we'll come check you out. And if you found value in this video, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you boop that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.